Yes. Right. Yeah, oh, and, and we're live again. No so more almost, holding almost, back. Almost seven <laughs> seconds left. Yes. So we were just putting our show plan together, which is very well organized. Yeah. Um, Mitch. Eddie. Chad. Vaughn. Vaughn. So who's Vaughn? Who the heck is Vaughn, and why is there a new guy here? Um, you need another bald guy. We needed another bald guy. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Vaughn lives in Manhattan, Kansas, was going to head to Chicago, accidentally went south, and right. somehow his car ran out of gas just yeah. right outside of Munster. perfect timing. Yes. It was just destiny. And he got hungry. The one place I wanted to end up was a dog food place. <laughs> I mean, where else would you want to be? You can eat Nowhere. it. Yeah, for 30 days. days. That's right. right. For a month. Or 30 minutes, maybe. Or 30 minutes. Yes. Yeah. So Vaughn is here. So Vaughn is uh, – a guy that does lots of stuff, as he likes yeah. to say, and yeah. uh, most recently has been associated with a company called First Form, and is very knowledgeable on protein. And uh, so his name is the pastor of protein, as far as we're concerned. <laughs> so you can talk I don't know that I'm very knowledgeable about protein, but, but you've I'm drank a lot connect- of protein shakes. Yeah, I have, and I've con- I'm connected with a company that is very knowledgeable, and only the best protein yes, shakes and supplements and all that good stuff. And he's also a uh, publisher and author, right? Is that the right way to articulate uh, I, it? I, I write, I speak, I do things with podcasting. I think the way that I originally got to know you guys was being on the uh, the uh, podcast with Andy Frisella. Yep. So. Yes. And he happens to have a tie into some children's books mm-hmm. that are very, very popular that have uh, storylines around dogs. Yeah. So, so the guy that I used to work full time for, I just kind of work as a consultant for him now, but um, he's brilliant multi-millionaire entrepreneur and he wanted to help encourage kids to be overachievers in everything they do so he and i worked together on creating a series of books that are based on his real life dogs otis and charlie and each one of the books has a has sort of a theme of how to be successful like work hard have vision uh be kind to people they've been very successful otis and charlie otis and charlie so if you're looking for a children's book otis and charlie's hardworking tales or you can just go to andyfrisella.com and find Otis and them. Charlie's hard-working, hard-working tales. tales. Yes. So children's book around dogs. This guy helped author them, correct? Right. So, okay. So if it's terrible, thank you, Sarah. You know, just it. said man of many talents. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if we could write that down for the I, 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 I like your audience. Yes. <laughs> they should. They're here. We will write. So here it comes. is Otis and Charlie. You can write that. Yeah, you can either go on Amazon and just Google that Otis and Charlie. I, I and by the way, Charlie, it, I hope it's T A I. Well, so the way that the way that you it's O T I S and then Charlie is C H A R L E Y. So it's a really weird. Oh, now I got to redo it. I knew that's that's wrong. Wrong. I believe that's no. It's oh, funny. I was talking about the tails. Either way, they'll get there. <laughs> was it the wagon tails or the story tails? Uh, well, it it's it's spelled T A I L S. C. No, I think it should be T A L E S. That's just me. Uh, Otis and Charlie. You even buy the book set yeah, with that's, a couple of stuff. We've already found them on Amazon, apparently. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. The one and only Elizabeth Trout Felberhoff. Nice. Way to go, babe. Someone knows nice. her. Nice. Someone <laughs> on the ball. She's ready for it. Oh, good job, me. For what? I don't know, but I'll take it. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about ingredients that go into food and why is it important to source quality <clears throat> ingredients in your dog food and what are you buying when you buy it at the store? Because a lot of things at the store, you go to it and you flip over a bag of dog food. Would you know the first ingredient? You've never looked at dog food, right? Uh, no. And I love dogs. And you would have a hard time knowing what is a good dog food, correct? Uh, well, I assume meat. M- meat is positive. <laughs> yes, we like meat. <laughs> meat is uh, positive. Or fish. Or fish. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The other thing you want to, like, what is it? So when you see things like grain products or uh, animal protein and Byproduct. Well, animal protein means it can be any animal. I mean, it could literally be alligator, and it would be 100% okay. Um, very rare, but it happens. And so what we're going to talk about a little bit today is some of the ingredients we use in our food. So we've got beets. Carrots. Carrots. A sweet potato. Apple. And we all picked our own vegetables here. I went last. Um, Vaughn picked the apple. Eddie picked the carrot, and Chad picked the sweet potato. And here in a minute, what we're going to do is have a contest to see who can eat their vegetable first that or man. their fruit. The meat will probably be hard to swallow. And uh, <laughs> whoever loses gets to eat a special treat that we have. Oh. I'm pretty sure I know who's going to lose. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Bigger is not this? always better. You didn't, <laughs> didn't know what the contest was. Uh, so what we have here is a whole freeze-dried chicken heart. 
And so whatever's on your plate, you have to eat. And you've seen what is on our plate. Chad has to put it back on the plate. <laughs> I, I got my own sweet potato. Sorry, but you've missed the boat. <laughs> if you cheat, you get to eat three. Oh. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's, a, there's mine if I lose. Yeah. A little chunk. <laughs> but what are beets good for? Anybody know what beets are good for in dog food? Mm. I, my wife's a doctor. I actually know what beets are. Humble brag. <laughs> and eight years younger. Oh, oh, yes. She's blinding one eye. Uh, can't see that. Foggy in the other. Uh, isn't it? Um, is it immune? Is it uh, uh, immune? It, immune? I don't know. Forget is it, it don't hair know. growth? It's yeah. auto. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's not that. Well, it's actually a, a good vasodilator. And so if you have a performance dog, a dog that is uh, a oh, honey dog Elizabeth or coming in. All right. heart and health. heart health, of course, oh, okay. anything that we do is good for the heart. Right. Um, but it's good for working dogs and athletes. So it's a vasodilator. So what that does is it expands the blood vessels, allows them to carry more oxygen to the different organs and especially to your muscles so that you're actually able to exert more energy, lift more, run faster if you're a dog and pull more weight. So uh, great for sled dogs. Uh, great for hunting dogs, and if you get dogs like in dog jumping competitions, etc., beets are a great thing. Eddie, what about the carrot? What do you, what what could the carrot possibly be good for? I'm hoping eyesight. Fetch. So they're good for fetch. <laughs> uh, good for playing fetch. Good for playing fetch. No, carrots are a great source of uh, fiber. It's a a good low sugar alternative to adding extra rice or corn or wheat or anything like that in it. And so what it's going to do is what fiber does, is it actually helps pull sugar through the bloodstream without causing a giant insulin spike. And the same can be said for Chad's sweet potato. Yeah. So these are, these are great. As you said, it's a low glycemic, uh, has a low glycemic index. So it doesn't hit, doesn't create that insulin surge in the dog. And it, it really is a good fiber, Good starch source for the dogs uh, gives them that kind of that energy to keep on going through. So nice, it's, yeah. a, it's a nice. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed. Vaughn, what are apples good for? You're married uh, to a doctor. Vaughn's married to a doctor. Yeah, eight years younger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is not a good thing when she that wants to have like but, 17 kids. Yeah, she's he's got four kids, so yeah. the apples a day doesn't really keep that doctor. Away. No, no, no. An apple helps the uh, dog uh, check the. Specs on the end line rotary girder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the end line rotary girder. Mm. Yeah. So, little Tommy boy for you. Yes, just yeah. a little bit. Apple Day keeps the dog away. No, the do the doctor. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm an Apple Day keeps the vet away. But it's got to be your bull. <laughs> yeah, right. So, we're going to roll with antioxidants. How does that sound? Yeah, antioxidants. Yeah. Apples yeah. have antioxidants. Yeah. Everybody knows that antioxidants are great, right? right. Not a good Jesse source knows of protein. What up. What's up? Keeping the doctor away. See, my, my, I was right. You were. So so we're not actually going to have a contest. Chad doesn't have to default eat the uh, chicken liver um, because that just, or chicken heart because that just wouldn't be fair. It's funny. Uh, the, but I think we should all, we should all take ready. it. Are you ready? We do have to take a bite of it though. We got to take a bite, but we're going to play like rock, paper, scissors here in a little mm -hmm. bit to see who has to eat the chicken heart. Mm -hmm. Everyone has an equal chance. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's take a good bite. Mm. That's a good apple. That is a mm. terrible beat, just like most beats are. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. That's a good color. Oh this, my gosh. This is delicious. I had no idea how strong the, the aftertaste are? was of beets. Oh, the sweet pear. Is this actually one of the apples that you would have actually used? Because yeah. this is a quite good apple. It goes in yeah. the food. Yeah. So yeah. we need core. High quality apples. We have to core them first. How about them apples? <laughs> there you go. How about them apples? That was, that was truly terrible. Um, you mean my this is good. The uh, no, the beet. No, oh, okay. the beet's really bad. Um, we no, don't have. No. Okay, so uh, let's go to Thank You Thursday. So, all right, every Thursday, we got Thank You Thursday. And what does that mean, Chad? So we pick one of our customers, our loyal customers, and we throw something in for them. So uh, today we've got uh, we've got a guy. Mr. Roy, let, let me see where he's out of here. He's out of Louisville, Texas. And so, hey, he's taking advantage of our uh, our custom dog food, Mitch. He's got your favorite flavor, the ocean fish. 
And he's putting coconut oil on the outside of it. And the beef protein plus. So yeah, look at, one, that is one lucky dog. Roy loves Mr. Roy loves his dog. Yes, he does. That's that's gonna be some good stuff. You know, I was looking uh, the other day, Chad, at our at our sales numbers, and did you know that one out of every four bags of food we ship now are customized? I do. One out of four. We are uh, we're running a mixture full time downstairs, trying to keep up with all our custom dog food orders. Did you know that in January it was zero percent? Uh, yes. I did. I think it was in January we had the discussion of when are you going to say Uncle Chad? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said Uncle yet. So um, one thing we would like to know is what is everyone's favorite customization that they currently have? You know, so if you guys want to throw those in the comments, maybe Chad will be willing to discount those next week for us. So let's get some votes on what enhancements we want. Do they know what enhancements we have? Um. I mean, why don't we give them, why don't you tell them the most popular ones that you've been mixing up? The bacon fat and salmon oil are probably the most, those those fly off the shelves. We can't keep the bacon fat in stock. I mean, who doesn't love bacon? Vaughn, you want to take some bacon I'll fat home bacon. with you? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll take my finger in the, you like the bacon fat. Yeah, I do. I so do. we got the. I'm a big, you said olive oil or coconut oil? Coconut oil. I'm, coconut oil. Yeah, that's good. You put it in your coffee in the morning. Oh uh, yeah, I do. There you go. What's it, why do you put it in the coffee? Well, actually, I switched over to just CBD oil. Oh, but okay. prior to that, I just did. You know what? Yeah. We've, We've got, got some CBD oil. In yeah, you really? There you go. We got some Doctor for Wear. Yeah. Why don't you put some out in your water bottle there? Shake it up, <laughs> drink it. You know, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we we do offer CBD oil for yeah. the dogs on on our store. We don't go mix that right now because I don't know if I keep it up in please. I'm drinking. I think they might. Uh, Eddie will just start going yeah. crazy with it. Yeah. yeah. I got every time Eddie shows up in Munster, I find him in the in the closet with the CBD oil droppers, you know, in the bacon <laughs> fat. In the bacon <laughs> fat. So Chris Crystal's a big fan of the bacon fat and chicken topper, and Sarah likes the elk and coconut. Awesome. So the salmon, the salmon booster, and the salmon oil are probably the are probably the two top. It's if I had to. So. Um, the omega threes are off the charts with those. When you add those to any one of our foods, it it really ups the omega threes to help with the skin and coat and the brain development mm. for the puppies. Mm. And so nice. the, we have uh, we have a cat food coming out soon, and I think I think you promised well, that's unnecessary. I think, <laughs> I think you promised it was due on August seventh. Yeah, you right? wrote me into that last week. Did I did I rope you into it or did you voluntarily say it? Well, I think you you kind of winked at me and said August seventh, right, Chad? In front of God and everybody. I don't remember that. Uh, yeah, I, I think Kevin, yeah. Kevin, if you're watching, if you could chime in, I think you were there when it happened. So uh, that would be nice. Uh, but no, I'm pretty sure you said August 7th. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. I said August 7th. And what is it coated with, Chad? It's coated with the salmon oil and the salmon protein booster. And some bone broth. And some bone broth. And some probiotics. And some probiotics. And coconut oil? Is there coconut oil? There is I coconut oil yeah. on it. Is there? Okay. Is there a question, question mark? Question mark? Who put the question mark? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Dude will read anything. <laughs> so, okay. So um, we what did we give in our Thank You Thursday? Did we give something away yet? We didn't give anything away. What should we give? Um, How about this? The sweet uh, potato. I, I got a beat. <laughs> I got a, beat. <laughs> a sweet potato, a beat, and a carrot, and an apple. Half, you know, half eaten. I've got a great idea. Yeah. Have you made the Dr. Verwehr supplements yet? Yeah, we've got all those. Do we? Should we give them a? Could we give them skew? one of each? Yeah. And then, and they're ready. They're in the warehouse. They will be in the warehouse by Monday morning. By Monday morning. So, if you have, if you aren't aware of Doctor Verwears yet, this is an example of the digestive. And so, I think we should give another full set away to some one of our viewers that's watching. You sales guys just to always give them stuff away. Give away. Give away. Yeah, so, yeah. Give away. Give away, give away. So Chad's birthday is coming up. Um, Elizabeth, you can't talk here. Uh, Crystal or Allie, you have to be quiet. <laughs> Whoever can tell us what day of August Chad's birthday is, is going to get a full set of Dr. Brewer's Mill Toppers autographed by Chad. And they will Ooh, be autographed even. Autographed nice. by Limited Chad. Limited edition. Batch number one. 
That's impressive. There so thank you. you. Thursday's going item. out. Someone's getting a full set, and then someone on this show is getting a full set. Someone in the comments will get a full set. So you get a Ooh. calming, you get a digestive, you get a heart health, and you get a hip and joint. Awesome. And the pastor of protein Monday. knows how important the protein is <laughs> yeah, in the supplements. It's, yes. as he says, very, he's married to a doctor. Yes. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Qualifies. He's, yes. he's as good as a doctor. So, right. uh, right I mean, that's, a, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, we're still waiting on a winner. And are we just, we have, uh, yeah, we like have the idea. We're close. It's Jesse's 7, very, 8, very close. 8, 15, 8, 13. Crystal, what are you doing? Crystal never happened. She's gone. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, Nicholas, that would be awesome is not the correct day of Chad's birthday. Oh. So we're going to let those keep rolling. Um, fit, no, not the fifth either, but we're getting really warm there. My birthday is August 24th. August 24th. It Let's is. put that under Nobody Cares. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Kimberly, uh, we have a winner. <laughs> we have a winner. Kimberly Rainey Hong. With the 15th. Yeah, yeah. 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 The 15th. So August 15th is Chad's birthday. Oh, Sarah Ann Cox actually won. So we had a little bit of lag. So it looks like maybe we'll give two away. Yeah. That's really nice. Might have to do maybe that. we'll give two away. All right. So we're nice people. If you won, send an email to GODA at MunsterMilling.com <laughs> with your address and he will make sure that they get there. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we have a coupon code? We do. What is the coupon code? Drum roll. And what are we doing? Is it not the, the pastor? Pastor protein. It is a pastor it protein. Is pastor protein. That's really funny. By the way, I, I that might not make any sense to them if they didn't know that I previously was a pastor. Oh, and then yeah. and uh, then on the the uh, podcast with Andy, he called me the pastor of disaster. That's where the whole pastor thing started. So there you go. There you go. And he worked with a company that makes a lot of protein. Yes. And, and he's married a to a doctor him. eight years younger. Exactly. He's married to a doctor <laughs> who happens connecting to be man. <laughs> connecting all the dots. <laughs> the list just keeps going. <laughs> so here's the thing. This coupon code is good for 50% off beef patties for the first 10 users only. So you can buy as many of them as you want. They're half off, but only the first 10 people get them. So uh, go ahead and get started on that now because they do run quick. Typically, it's within three or four minutes. Most of our coupon codes are used. Yep. Um, so go ahead and load up on some freeze-dried beef patties. Get the extra protein uh, because the doctor recommends it, right? Absolutely. The doctor's husband recommends yeah. it. Exactly. Right. Um, okay. So now we have one thing left to do, which is eat a chicken heart. Why? Why do we have to do that, Mitch? Why do we have to eat something that we make? Well, Eddie, it's because we won't sell anything to anybody to feed their uh, dog unless right. we've eaten it ourselves. Right. Okay. Or someone Ooh. that shows up in Munster has eaten oh, themselves. Maybe we'll right. get lucky today. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I, I know. about this before I came. <laughs> so, Vaughn, you're probably okay because we have a, a running scoreboard. And um, Eddie has it's won like, seven or eight times. Yeah, seven or eight. He's and won seven or eight. The score. Chad okay. has won... One. One time. And how many times time are you on? Once. <laughs> I have won one time um, in all of the competition. So typically I end up having to eat whatever it is by just divine intervention. Okay. Right. Um, last time it was lots of shots of that mm -hmm. stuff mixed up with warm water. Okay. And it was awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like I that. I think the Something chicken like heart is probably preferable, I think. That. So the, the chicken heart is a key ingredient in a lot of our stuff. Yes. And so if you're if you're getting a mill topper, uh, for example, not any of these three, it doesn't look like. I think we've got a hip and joint. The hip and joint. The hip and joint mill topper mm -hmm. has a lot of good cholesterol and chondroitin in it, lots of chicken in it. And uh, chicken heart is rich in lots of amino acids, uh, lots of protein. Um, I want to say I'm about to make something up because I forgot, but B12 is going to be in, in a chicken heart, and then there's going to be a little bit of taurine as well. So uh, it's a great nutritional supplement. Uh, when we freeze dry it, nothing is – oh, we just lost the uh, aorta, um, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He wants to try that and see what it tastes like. But essentially, oh, this be fine. we, we use voice. whole organ meat because it's what the dog would eat in the wild. It's what would naturally be – uh, in the dog's diet, and it is full of all kinds of awesomeness. So what we're going to do is rock, paper, scissors. 
There's no dynamite. There's no grenades. There's no thunderstorms or anything like no, that. You know, continental ballistic missile. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you jump up and break someone's hand. Up okay. Up. <laughs> and so we're going to do odd man out. So if two people pick the same thing, then they're eliminated. They don't have to do it. All right. Right. And okay. then if there's only two of us left, the loser has to eat the chicken heart. Okay. So right. if, if if two people go rock and two people go paper, then obviously rock is in the finals and okay. paper would win. Okay. Um, notice I didn't say scissors on purpose. Um, I think it'll work. If there is one person with scissors and other we have two rock and then we have paper, then the two rock are gone and the scissors piece paper and paper is in tough luck. Mm -hmm. Do we need also, like an umpire or anything? Else? Also, I mean, well, we are live. We have we have witnesses here. Okay. It is one, two, oh, what? three. Jesse, come on. Shoot. So rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Do we have. Jesse's already making a prediction that I'm going to eat the chicken heart. Um, why are the toppers not sold in my neighborhood pet store? Was a question we had real quick. Well, because they're not there yet. So these are just now coming out. So they're not actually launching until August next, yeah, next week. Fourth or um, so August fourth. So they will be there soon. They're on their way, Michael. Um, they will be there. Uh, Chad is gonna be eating the heart, my prediction. That's Alice. Is that Allison that said that? No, Jesse. Jesse. Yeah, he will uh, he will eat your heart out. Um, okay. And your wife has a breath mint in your name. I know. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. So do we even need to do this? Or is it just yeah, Chad? Let Jenny. Like, how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> so do I win if I just eat it right now? Oh, absolutely. I think the three of us win. All of us win. You're All the, definitely okay. the winner. If, if I eat right, it. Here we go. No, if you, if you want to eat it now and win, you have to eat three. Oh. You have to eat all three of them at once. No water for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> yeah. I, I should have ate one of them too. Okay, right. so we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and then you gotta freeze, and then I'll recreate the rules and we'll move to the next round. Okay, perfect. Sound like a deal? Recreate or restate? Something. Okay. All right. All right. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It looks like so, we're out, so it's down to these two. Oh, okay. okay. And I think. Scissors beats paper. Yeah, scissors so wait, beats, scissors what? Beats paper. So that means you, you have to eat it. You have to eat it, guys. <laughs> That's oh, that worked. Yep. Oh. All right. Well, I already picked I mean, mine out. I found a really nice. I thought that doesn't really look like a heart. That is a this looks perfect. a little bit better. <laughs> this looks. Why don't we let our fans decide which one it. should which one should Eddie eat? <laughs> I vote this one. Anybody else have a vote in the room? Yeah, yeah. Mitch's. Vaughn. What? Oh, I, I'm not. Gonna Oh, okay. What would a doctor say First would be person. the more nutritious heart? Probably the grosser looking one. Back to you're only married to a doctor. <laughs> hey, but she's eight years younger. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. She's nerve medicine. Anybody. Uh, uh, looks like they've got Mitches. Mitches. Jesse says Mitches. All right. Do I have to eat the whole thing? Yeah. You do. All right. Here we go. I hope my wife's not watching this. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. You gonna take a picture of this? I would like to get a picture okay. of this if that's possible. I mean, it's live. You could snag it off. I know, but this will be better. Okay. All right, Eddie, get after it. Here we go. Oh, that crunch! Ooh, it's a little crunch. How is it? Is it terrible or is it not that bad? It's not chicken, that bad. Chicken liver was. You know what I'm thinking it. about? I'm thinking about the. Um, oh, what was that movie? The. Magnificent Seven, the new one, where the the guy ate the heart, just pulled it right out of the deer and ate it. Wasn't that go. Revenant? Or that something wasn't like Temple that? of Doom? No. <laughs> How was it, Eddie? It was really not bad. Not too bad? Kind of tastes like chicken a little bit. Yeah. Okay, round two. All right. We got a lot of hearts to go through. Oh, my. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. All right. I'm just kidding. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, well, um, that about wraps it up for Man vs. Dog Food. A few announcements. Uh, Doctor for Wares, on its way, will be out on Monday. Right, Chad? So you'll be able to order it online by next Thursday. We're shipping out the stores first. They kind of were first in line to get it, so take care of the retailers first. Um, we also have pumpkin spice meatballs on the way. 
So a limited quantity of these will be released on October 1st. Yes. He, Chad said yes, so October 1st is the deal. Uh, the, you know what's going to be in those? Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And pumpkin. And carrots. And we got pumpkins. This is what we should have put out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who wants a bite of that? A yes. pumpkin. A pumpkin. Now, it's too late because Eddie's already eaten this, but I'd like to point out something that our studio audience is pointing out, which is technically that scissors beat, no, paper beats rock. So we, you and I dodged a bullet. Well, we did say if there was more than one of us, we got eliminated. Oh, good. 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 Okay, okay, good. 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 But it sounds like Vaughn's once I know, my hard. conscience was a little You can eat one still some you like. left. Right. I can't uh, because I'm Catholic. Oh. <laughs> Be because if I eat that, that's basically the same as me using birth control. Really? Because my wife is oh, not going to be right. <laughs> 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 I, I followed that. <laughs> that was a that was I a great, great story. I so now you got it all around there. You should write a book. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, and then the last thing, Chad's much promised uh, coated kibble for cats is coming out on Next August seventh, which online, is online, right? Online. Yes, that one's online because we have a limited quantity, and that will be next Friday, I believe. Yes. So, Eddie, you should get the, the packaging done for that. I get that going. Um, yep. yeah, we'll get that finished. <laughs> Let's get that knocked out, Eddie. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning Apparently in. Apparently, i got to package it next week. <laughs> yes. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't gotten the beef patties yet, if that coupon code is still there, please use it. If it says it is not working, it's because other people were faster than you. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us. We'll see you next Thursday. Bye, everybody.